Hello and welcome to the Snippets of Leadership podcast. Humor is probably the one aspect of leadership you never, ever think about unless someone comes over and just talks to you about it. Well, here it is. I'm talking to you about it now. So first of all, why? Why talk about it at all? Because as it turns out, humor is one of the most effective ways to deal with stress, to reduce it for yourself and for your team. Think about a deadline approaching. All of a sudden, there is more work to do than you'd think, and you have to bring everyone in your team on board. So your team is doing overtime, is stressed, and is worried, and that's where humor can come in. That's actually when you, the leader, can bring humor into the mix. You can make a difference. You can reduce the amount of stress everyone is under, energize others and yourself, and motivate everyone towards their goal. So great, all clear? Not quite, not exactly. See, there are good ways of using humor and bad ones. And the kicker is, you have no idea whether your way of using humor is a good one for the job or not. Starting from the beginning, there are four humor styles. Two related to yourself, two related to others. Two of them are positive and two of them are negative. So here they are. The first one is self-enhancing humor, positive and related to yourself. It basically means being able to look at the ironic side of things when everything is going wrong. Finding the funny in the absurdity and laughing at yourself in a healthy way about it. Number two, self-defeating humor. This one is negative and still related to yourself. It means underlining bad traits of your character to be accepted by others. So, for example, making a fool of yourself in order to make others laugh. It's begging for acceptance, basically. Number three, affiliative humor. This one is positive and related to others. It's basically banter. It's exchanging healthy jokes with others having a good laugh with your friends and just joking around. And the fourth one is aggressive humor. This one is negative and related to others. And it encompasses everything from sarcasm to unacceptable behavior like sexist or racist jokes. It basically is about putting others down with a funny spin on top. That's why it's negative. The thing is, we all use a mix of these four styles. The key though is understanding which one is predominant and being aware of it. So go back to the example I had given in the beginning. There is a deadline approaching and everyone is stressed. And think of those four styles. Which one do you think would work here? Aggressive? Yeah, probably not. People under stress, they don't really need to be made fun of and probably wouldn't appreciate. Self-defeating? Uh, also not. Your team needs a leader, not a clown. Affiliative? Maybe. A good, healthy level of humor can make the whole situation lighter and more bearable, as long as you're not distracting others with it. I mean, you still need to work. It's not about joking around. Self-enhancing humor? Would that work? Definitely. Especially if you mix it with affiliative. So... Pretty much, ask others, isn't it ironic how we all ended up in this mess? Hey, maybe electricity cuts off as well while we're working. Wouldn't that be strange? Come on, we'll all laugh at ourselves when all of this is over. Of course, this is somewhat corny if I put it this way, but look at it from an example point of view. Something like this, personalized and for your team and true to yourself, could work. So, the only question to be answered is, what's your humor style? To test it, you need to head over to a website called humorstyles.com and take their test. It takes about 10 minutes and the results will tell you what your preferred way of having fun is. So, is your humor self-enhancing and affiliative? Great. Those are great traits for a leader. Is your humor aggressive and self-defeating? That's not great. You may want to do something about it. And one last thing. Don't assume that you know you cannot know for sure unless you have an external appraisal about it what your style is. Don't trust your guts. In other words, go and take the test. 
Everything is science-backed, referenced, and based on research. So take a look, invest those 10 minutes, and get something out of it. Thank you for listening. My name is Eduardo Bindazane from EBZ Coaching. I'm a leadership and communication trainer and consultant. And if you have any questions about what you've heard in this episode, please reach out to me via LinkedIn, Facebook, or my website. I'll be answering the most interesting questions on the show. And if you know someone that will benefit from this type of content, please make sure you recommend this podcast to them. Thank you and see you next time.